Hey guys, what is going on? Henry here from Scalable. And in this video, I just wanna break down with you guys the fact why scaling to 10K is easy. So a lot of people, when we chat to agency owners, one of the big goals that people wanna hit is 10K per month. And here's the thing, if you've never hit 10K per month before, you think it's a big deal. If you've hit 10K per month before and you've actually scaled way past that number, you know that 10K is not actually that hard to complete because you have the experience of achieving that result. And therefore, you know that exactly what the steps are that you practically need to take in order to get to that level. So what's, what's the answer? The answer is that if you haven't reached 10K before, it's likely that you'll get frustrated because you don't know actually how hard you need to go further in order to get to that point. So if you've never actually hit that goal before, you don't have any internal muscle memory or internal intuitive understanding of like, you know, what it really takes to get to 10K. So you're sort of grasping forward, trying all these things and you never actually get to um, really project out in your mind, what, how much more do I actually need to do? So what is the answer to that? How do you fix that problem? I like to call this problem the belief gap. I just wanna write it down on a piece of paper so I can just put it on the screen. So it's called the, really bad writing, it's called the belief gap. So the belief gap is that you have a gap between where you are and then getting to 10K and you that gap is, need, is needs to be filled with your belief that you can get there so that you can drive yourself to keep going, okay? So that's actually what's happening. But what is the solution? How do you solve it? What you need to do is really need to go to, to someone who's done it before and ideally done it before multiple times, not just once, so that they can tell you, you know, what you're doing is not enough or what you're doing is enough and actually get hands-on practical feedback from that person. Because if you just keep watching YouTube videos and if you just keep consuming content and you actually don't get direct feedback from somebody, then you're gonna keep sort of clutching at straws going, you know, why am I not there yet? So the first thing you need to do is you need to reach out to somebody in order to get feedback on what you're doing. And here's the thing. There's so many of these posts like Instagram reels breaking down like, you know, getting to a million dollars is easy. You just need to sell a thousand customers a thousand dollars. But the issue is that people understand the math, but they don't understand the nitty gritty aspects of what needs to be done to actually achieve that result. Okay, the second thing is once you have uh, understanding of what needs to be done and you've spoken with someone to get to read back, direct feedback on what you're doing. The second thing is you need to build a simple game plan. Now, a simple game plan does not mean you're gonna be introducing automated AI systems. It doesn't mean you're going to be using an artificial intelligent cold caller. It doesn't mean you're going to be hiring an appointment setter. We have a student in our program who landed their first client and he's 14. And he did that by following a simple game plan. Now, part of the issue with him was like, even at the age of 14, he was trying to hire an appointment setter. Now the issue is with trying to do all these complex things is that you're, you're complicating the process because the reality is the process of actually growing and getting clients is doing the basics right. And doing the basics right means you have a simple game plan of doing simple things every day so that you can keep generating revenue by signing up clients and delivering on the results that you promised them. So once you've got direct feedback from a mentor, have a simple game plan in place. Now, once you've got the simple game plan in place, the third thing you wanna do is improve every part of what you're doing. So let's just use a metaphor. Let's say you decide you want to make a chocolate cake. The first thing you do to make a good chocolate cake is you get a recipe. Now, if you wanted to improve on that chocolate cake and you're going, you know, why haven't I reached, you know, a $10,000 chocolate cake? 
you get direct feedback from someone who's done it before. And they said, well, the reason that you're not getting a $10,000 chocolate cake is because you're not using enough cocoa, there's too much sugar, blah, 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 blah. You're not cooking it long enough. And then you make those changes and suddenly it works because you're asking somebody who's done it before. Now, the second thing is you have a simple game plan to follow to make the chocolate cake, right? But the third thing is, if you wanna make it even better, if you want that chocolate cake to taste even better, you need to improve every part of the process. So that looks like sourcing better ingredients, figuring out a more optimum time frame of cooking the cake, figuring out what are some better appliances that I can use to cook the cake, figuring out what are some other ingredients that I can possibly put in to cook the, cook the cake. Now, I know it's a bit of a random example, but the basic point is, if you're able to improve all of those little elements in your agency, so whether it's you know cost per lead, how do I get my cost per lead down? How do I increase my show rate? How do I increase my close rate? How do I keep clients longer? How can I charge more? How can I put in more value so my clients are happier and I get a better net promoter score? So if you constantly obsess and focus on getting those things better and just keep doing the basics, you look back after two years, six months, 12 months, 18 months, and go, wow, getting to 10K is actually pretty easy. I've just got to keep it simple. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I know that was a bit of a uh, raw, uncut video, but hopefully that helped. Cheers.